the racist white woman who shot and killed her neighbor, a black mother? Well, according to the DA, it's not enough evidence to prosecute. Let's put up the picture full mass. I'm going to read between the lines on a couple of things, bear with me. Susan Lawrence, we brought you this story when it first happened. The woman who shot her black neighbor, AJ Owens, through a locked door after self admittedly shouting racial slurs at Owens children, calling them slaves, will not be charged with murder. Florida officials, Florida officials cite, and I quote, insufficient evidence as cause for declining to file murder charges in a press release on June 26th. As deplorable as the defendant's actions were in the case, there is insufficient evidence to prove this specific and required element of second degree murder, the press release states. While some may not agree with that decision, I can assure you that the decision was thoughtful and made without consideration of any factors other than the specific facts of this terrible crime. There's more, the state attorney's office says they would have to prove that Lorenz has a depraved mind in order to charge her with murder, which requires evidence of hatred, spite, ill will or evil intent toward the victim at the time of the killing. Now, let me provide some reading between the lines. You're in Florida. If you remember, ladies and gentlemen, the woman did not even get arrested until there was a national movement to arrest her. The cop, the sheriff, comes out and basically defends his actions not to immediately arrest this woman and says, I'm just following Florida law. I don't have to like Florida law, but I'm going to follow it. She gets arrested eventually, reluctantly. All of a sudden the charges are dropped. No murder charge, this is absolute murder. And then the statute is cited by way of context that you have to prove a depraved mind. It doesn't take much to prove a depraved mind. As a matter of fact, in that state, the murder alone can be evidence of a depraved mind. Look it up, it's under their case law. In addition to that, a depraved mind can also have what's called contextual evidence, meaning things you did prior, such as calling people the N word or abusing their children. That can be utilized also. Unfortunately, this prosecutor, who admits this is a crime, has decided to become a de facto defense attorney for this particular charge while citing the statute that we can all see clearly, clearly could apply as a depraved individual based on history, based on action and based on context, there's more. Let's put it up, the loss of mother, daughter and family member has shaken up the Owens family who had to fight for an arrest to be made in the first place. And have been fighting for a murder charge, murder charge to be filed against this killer. After wave of shooting, a wave of shootings prompted by stepping on another's property. This is another instance sure to increase nationwide anxiety, especially for black and brown people. According to lawyers, for Owens family. The conflict that led Owens, that led to Owens death began when her kids were playing in a field near their apartment complex. Lawrence, the killer began yelling at the kids to get off her land, calling them racial slurs. The children fled and uh, fled the field and accidentally left behind an iPad, which Lawrence collected, she stole it. When Owen's kids went to Lawrence's home to retrieve it, Owen's family lawyer says that Lawrence threw it, made it a weapon at that time, hitting one of the children, which is in fact child abuse based on the statute in Florida. 
Owens then came to the home to confront this neighbor who just abused a minor. That's when this abusive racist neighbor shot and killed Owens through not only the door, but the locked door. Florida, see, this is it. This is that great fork in the road. We are in the battle of our lives. We are battling for the soul of this nation. Now, I don't know where this is going to end up in the final analysis. I'm talking about this whole thing. But I hope you stand with me and we'll go down fighting. We'll go down fighting together. But we cannot ignore these things and we cannot act as if they are normative. These things are meant to be called out and they must be called out every single time it happens. There is no way this woman should not have a murder charge given all of the evidence that's available for public record. And if you get a different DA in that position, you get a different outcome. Elect people who are not afraid, elect individuals who are willing to do what is necessary. And yes, there is a political pressure in the state of Florida to do the unthinkable, to let people get away with killing black folks. That is a sentiment by many. We need people who are not afraid to stand up. Sharon thoughts. Yeah, and this one was in plain sight, Dr. Ritchie. Remember Ahmaud Arbery and the yeah. prosecutor there, Jackie Johnson. There, there was a long time where we didn't, weren't treated to that horrific footage, but she knew it. Okay, That's maybe right. these two went to the same school. But the next time the NAACP tells black people not to go to Florida, beware. You might not want to put memes on the internet, and you might want to heed the warning because this is real. This is real. The facts you just laid out there are horrific and obvi. They're so obvi. Yep. But yet here we are. Here we are. Here we are. And can she still be prosecuted later? Yes, she can. Can a new DA get elected and file charges? Yep. Double jeopardy is not attached. She has not been adjudicated. So this does not have to be over, is my point. You get new leaders, you get new outcomes. 